If you're thinking of taking Avodar or Dutasteride to help you regrow healthy hair, then just make sure to watch this video before you do that. Hey guys, Leon here from HairGuard.com, where people who are worried about their hair loss go to regrow their hair. If you are new to the channel, do make sure to hit subscribe if you want updating on any of the latest hair loss news or any breakthroughs that we find out about. Now, as mentioned, if you're worried about your hair loss, you might be thinking of taking Avodar as a solution to your problem. Now, there is another alternative. You can click the link in the description to take the Hair Guard Hair Loss Quiz. You'll answer a few short questions about yourself and your hair loss, and then you'll actually receive personalized, free, expert advice on how to regrow healthy hair. So click the link in the description. But for now, let's get into the video on Avodart. Avodart has been proven to regrow hair by blocking DHT within the body. However, there are severe side effects associated with it, and as soon as you stop using it, all the hair that you regrew, and more, will quickly fall out. In this video, I'm going to explain the pros and cons of using Avodart so you can make a good decision about whether or not you want to use it. Two thirds of American men dealing with some level of androgenetic alopecia by the age of 35, and there are many men who are willing to try just about anything to regain their natural hair. As with any type of prescription medication, when you start taking something new, you want to find out as much as possible about the drug. That is why we have put together this helpful guide for men who are considering taking Avodart. So what exactly is Avodart? Well, as with many prescription medications that are available today, Avodart can be used to treat more than one health condition. Many times, doctors will find that a drug that is marketed to treat one condition will end up having a positive effect on other medical issues. The generic name for Avodart is Dutasteride. GlaxoSmithKline originally developed it to treat the symptoms of BPH or benign prostatic hyperlasia, also known as an enlarged prostate. The medication can reduce the size of the prostate and relieve the symptoms associated with BPH, such as difficulty urinating, the need to urinate more often, or the urgent need to go. Since 2009, Dutasteride has been approved in South Korea to treat androgenetic alopecia or male pattern hair loss. However, it is yet to be approved for hair loss treatment in the United States. Therefore, it is commonly used as an off-label drug. Dutasteride is also known to be effective in treating female hair loss as well. Now, while it is commonly used for hair loss and many people have seen positive results after taking the drug, Avodart is controversial due to the potentially harmful side effects that are associated with it. So how does Avodart or Dutasteride actually help with hair loss? So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you're probably aware that male pattern baldness or androgenetic alopecia is thought to be caused by a sensitivity to dihydrotestosterone. Now it's not necessarily that people who are suffering with male pattern baldness uh, have higher levels of DHT, is that they have a sensitivity to it. Now the way that it works is the 5-alpha reductase enzyme attaches onto testosterone and then it creates dihydrotestosterone and that is what is thought to cause hair loss. Now dutasterone works by blocking the 5-AR enzyme which means that less testosterone will be converted into dihydrotestosterone. So if that happens then what's supposed to happen is it stops hair loss. But taking DHT blockers like this can come with a lot of side effects that we'll get into. But first, let's look at how effective Avodar actually is at stopping hair loss. Dutasteride is also known to have a much more powerful 5-alpha reductase inhibitor than the leading hair loss treatment, Propecia, or Finasteride. Propecia only inhibits types 2 and 3 of the enzyme, while Avodar reduces the effects of type 1 as well. Now, a study that was performed by the Bernstein Medical Center for Hair Restoration included 460 men with male pattern hair loss between the ages of 21 and 45, and it showed that dutasteride was actually more effective than finasteride. Now, the men were given various doses of dutasteride, finasteride, or a placebo each day for 24 weeks, and the results showed that those that took 2.5 mg of dutasteride had better results than those who were taking 5 mg of finasteride. On average, the men in the study could grow around 109.6 hairs while taking 2.5 mg of dutasteride, and those taking 5 mg of finasteride only grew 75.6 hairs. So, we're going to have a look at a few customer reviews of Avodart. Now, although Avodart is known for having potential side effects that can be very dangerous, the drug has received many positive reviews from all types of users. Those who have seen the best results taking Avodart are on the 0.5mg pill. Testimonials include pros such as hair growing back thicker and fuller, 
fewer side effects and reduced body hair growth. But there is an equal amount of reviews where users say that they have experienced a low sperm count, issues with their libido and even some who have had their equilibrium thrown off. And there are also many who experience no good or bad effects at all. They still had thinning hair even after taking the drug each day for months. Overall, most users will agree that Avodar is far more effective than Propecia and there are plenty of clinical trials that back up these opinions. As mentioned, I promise you that I'll tell you about the side effects of this drug so let's go over that. Now, while there is a lot of talk about the side effects of taking Dutasteride, they are very similar to the side effects from taking Finasteride. The reason side effects are so common with these drugs is because of 5-alpha reductase inhibitors don't simply reduce your DHT levels in the scalp. They also reduce the levels of DHT all throughout your system, which means that your hormone levels will be lower, which can cause issues such as impotence, low libido, difficulty achieving orgasm, irregular ejaculation, low testosterone and low sperm count. Since dutasteride is stronger than finasteride and can reduce DHT levels by as much as 95% compared to 71% of finasteride, those who take Avodot instead of Propecia are much more likely to experience these and other side effects. While some men may be willing to live with low libido or a decrease in testosterone levels to regrow their hair, dutasteride can also cause other, more serious and life-threatening side effects to occur. Now, the drug has actually been linked to an increase of high-grade prostate cancer over the years. That is because it can temporarily reduce the growth of a benign tumours located on the prostate. Now, as a result of that, it masks the detection of early-stage prostate cancer and delays the diagnosis until it is essentially too late. So, for me personally, after watching all that information, I wouldn't even risk trying this because number one, stop taking it and the hairs fall out. Number two is that the side effect risks are just way too strong. And number three is that it's even stronger than finasteride, so the side effects are going to be more severe and more likely. So for me, it's a no-go. But you still might be interested in giving it a shot, so how can you get it? Well, recently, the FDA completed the phase two hair loss study for Avodar or Dutasteride. The results were released at the American Academy of Dermatology meeting held in San Francisco. The results were very convincing and the phase 3 trials that looked at the drug's effects on benign prostatic hyperplasia have been also been completed and are ready to be submitted to the FDA sometime this year. Now this means that Avodart may be approved and marketed for hair loss sometime next year. Until then, you can't get Avodart prescribed to you by your doctor unless you need it for other reasons pertaining to an enlarged prostate. There are some places online where you can find more information on where to purchase the drug from an overseas provider, but you should do that at your own discretion. Now, Avodart has been shown in more than one clinical trial that it is a powerful alternative to Propecia in terms of reversing hair loss in men. However, the fact that it is so strong also means that it comes with some serious side effects as well. Plus, it has yet to be approved by the FDA, at least for now. So guys, Dutasteride is looking a little bit iffy. You might want to give it a go, but... It's not something that we'd recommend. But what you can do, again, I just remind you is click the link in the description, take the Hair Guard Hair Loss Quiz, then you'll receive free personalized expert advice on how to regrow healthy hair. Make sure to hit subscribe. See you in the next video.